Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 5 Mark IV and today I will show you how we can import your contacts from the SIM card to the device. So let's get started by opening up our contacts application which will be located in what well, typically called a Google folder, for some reason it's called Hi now. Um, whatever it is, I think it should be Google. Um, and here you'll find contacts. Now also you can just pull up and locate it in all your application tray. Let's see if I can quickly find it right there at the top. Contacts, select allow. And in here, you can see I already have several contacts, several, a lot of contacts, but these contacts are all on my Google account. So you can view it right here when you tap on it, it shows you what account it's using or pulling the contacts from. Uh, additionally, you can see that there's nothing below uh, apart from add another contact. Uh, I'm pointing that out because that will change. So to begin, let's select the fix and manage option. And from here, import from SIM. This will show us all the contacts that are located on our SIM card. As you can probably notice right now, all my contacts are almost deselected or almost all. Uh, only one is selected and I cannot select other ones. That is because those contacts already exist in your list, meaning I already have added them to my Google account. But if I change this, because we do have a drop down menu, I can select it to, for instance, import it to the device, which I have no contacts on this device, as in like stored in the memory of the phone itself. So it allows me to import all of them. Uh, additionally, I will mention this right now. Uh, when you do this, you will basically have two different contacts lists, which you can swap by pressing that button like I did on the account and contacts, which I'll show you in a moment additionally. So anyway, obviously you can also import to your Google account if you choose to. If you are not logged into a Google account, that option will not appear at all and it will automatically select the device uh, as a default import location. Anyway, from here, let's select import. And I keep it off. Keep off. There we go. And now if we go back to contacts, uh, again, nothing has changed right here, but we can tap on this account icon and you can now see that we have device as the option. And when I select it, it shows me all the contacts that I have imported. So there we go. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.